I just want to speak briefly about film critics, um, the whole concept of what film critics do and um, why I generally don't listen to them. Um, it's a bit windy outside. We're seeing the tail end of um, Hurricane Ophelia. It's swept across Ireland. It's caused quite a lot of damage and um, disruption. And it's now coming over, um, I believe, southern Scotland and northern England. So, uh, yeah, hopefully that won't be worse. This has been a very, very eventful year weather-wise. But anyway, that's not what the video is about. It's just a side note. Um, yeah, so I don't listen to film critics, and this is why. I have seen many, many, many films in my lifetime. And I go to the cinema roughly once a month. I have seen many films which I have thoroughly enjoyed, which I've taken something from, which I felt was a powerful piece of art. But critics slammed. Now, ultimately, the job of critics is to analyse the film um, and write reviews for it. I understand they have a job to do. And I understand that in many cases, they are scholars of film history. So they have studied... Um, a particular director, they've studied filmmaking techniques, they've studied um, marketing techniques and so on. So I'm not suggesting that I know more than they do in terms of film history or how films are made. I would imagine they probably do know more than I do. But the point about, this is the argument I would make, the point about the film industry is that it's first and foremost entertainment. It's first and foremost made for the public market. So surely the biggest or, or the most um, important critics that count is the viewing public. I mean, put it this way, if you have 10 film experts say, oh, this film was rubbish, but you have 100 film goals say they thought it was great, are you going to say that the experts are more important simply because they call themselves experts? Um, Sometimes, in fact, I think it's sort of the thing to bash commercially popular films. So, for example, Titanic, because it was so commercially successful, it's become a bit of a trend for people to say, oh, it was overrated, it was rubbish, blah, blah, blah. I happen to disagree. I think Titanic was a great film. That's just my opinion. With films and with music, it's to me, it's, it is largely about personal taste. I can understand someone passionately arguing for their, um, and I may, may as well extend this video to music critics as well, although I think less about that, but, you know, people, I can understand people passionately defending their band, their artists, or a particular film that they like, or a particular director, and I can understand them rationalising that in a certain way, like, I like the way the director does this, I like this particular choreography, the casting, whatever it might be. But what you can't do is is trash someone else's opinion just because they like something. So, for example, there might be a particular film I don't see the appeal of at all. And I might explain why I don't see the appeal. But I can't say to someone who likes that film, oh, you're wrong. Because it is purely about opinion when it comes to films. I think this is very different from political issues. Political issues, legislation, etc., um, impacts people's lives. That is something that is utilitarian. It affects the rest of us. But me not liking a film isn't going to personally hurt me. So just because someone says this film or this music is good, so what? Uh, I might disagree with them, but it's not in the grand scheme of things. It's not going to make a difference in my life. But if they support a particular political policy, Political policies do have an impact on wider society. So I think that's a very different thing. Um, like I say, I can understand some people who are passionate about film maybe being quite opinionated. I mean, I, I'm passionate about film. Check this. Yes, that's Rachel Stevens, uh, in case you're wondering in the background. But that's a little inkling of my collection. Um, I've got many more. I, uh, I'm a big fan of film, right? Um, so I, I'm a film lover, but I, I'm not going to go to someone else and say, oh, you're wrong. 
No, I might be irritated if a film wins, say, the Academy Awards, and I think another film is more deserving. And in this area, I can see why critics sort of serve a purpose, because, for example, in award ceremonies like the Academy Awards or Cannes or whatever, I can understand critics. Uh, incidentally, at Cannes, apparently they're very ruthless and they've been known to boo directors off stage, which seems to me a little bit unnecessary. But anyway, um, I can understand that there is a purpose because if, if you just had public opinion, that wouldn't always be the best way to necessarily, because the public wouldn't all be able to explain why they love a film so much they, they just do or they don't. So I understand that you need a certain level of academic um, analysis with this. I totally get that in terms of awarding, um, well, giving out awards to directors and, and filmmakers. But what I don't understand is why why people think that they need to listen to the opinions of critics before they go to see a film or not. Personally, what I usually do is watch the trailer. I, I do put quite a lot of focus on the trailer, although I think trailers nowadays give away a bit too much. But I can honestly say every single film I have seen this year, I've seen 11 films, I've been quite content with. Some were better than others, but I can't say I was very disappointed. And usually I would look at the storyline, I would look at maybe the cast, possibly the director or the trailer, certainly. Um, that would be a big part of it for me. I don't really care what the critics say, because I've had this experience many times where critics have slammed a film or dismissed it, and I thought it was pretty good. Uh, I can give a few recent examples. Victoria and Abdul, the critics slammed that for, like I say, they claimed it was whitewashing history, etc. I, I disagree with that. I don't think it was. But leaving that aside, I thought it was a good film. Um, leaving the political side of it aside. Um, another one was the remake of Flatliners that's just been released. I watched that last, uh, well, it would be the night before. Um, I thought it was great. I thought it was really um, uh, a very captivating, interesting film. I enjoyed it. I haven't seen the 1990 version. Maybe I would like it better, maybe not. But that's another thing. People have this tendency to bash remakes. You know, it isn't always the case that the original is better. The original gives the idea. It sets the platform for the idea. But I don't agree that just because something is original, it's better. That's... I don't agree with that. You, you, I mean, you could say that the remake, it's not original because it's taking an older idea. But why why can't there be a scope for improving something? You know, put it this way. If you have a carpenter, he makes a chair, right? He sits on it and he realizes, oh, it's a little bit creaky or there's something not quite right here. So he makes it again. It's a remake. But maybe the second chair is better than the first. So I, I don't really agree with this. Um, consensus that oh the original has to be better but ultimately this really does come down to personal opinion I, I really do believe that like I said I can understand people passionately defending a film they like but I don't like when people sort of say to someone else oh how can you say that you're wrong this film was terrible this music is terrible you know that's very arrogant just respect other people's tastes or if you don't respect it at least don't you know, don't give people a hard time just because they like something different from you. If they're making a point that you disagree with, okay, disagree with them in a civil way. But I, I don't know why people get so worked up about issues that come down to personal taste, like film and music. They are important. I'm not saying that they're, they're an important part of human culture, but I think it is different from politics. Politics impacts people's lives, and that's utilitarian because decisions that are made impact everyone generally speaking. If I don't like a film, I simply won't go to see it or I'll be disappointed in it. But I'm not going to be furious about it, you know. I mean, I, I've never understood that. I've never understood why people get so worked up about films or music. It ultimately, is about escape. Another point I would make about critics is sometimes a film is slammed when it is released and then later on, people, you know, there, there's a... There's a renewal of opinion. For example, Return to Oz. At the time, uh, Roger and Ebert slammed it as too dark for children, completely inappropriate, and among lots of other writers who have put out of it, it got completely slammed. That has subsequently become something of um, 
an underground hit. It has become very popular with its fans, and it's actually a lot more true to the Frank L. Baum books than the 1939 adaptation. And I think they were basing it purely off that 1939 version. So that, to me, proves that very often film critics are subjective as opposed to objective. Um, so, yeah, they might know about film history, they might know about how films are made, but ultimately, really, it is their opinion. And this goes into other areas. Uh, think about sports rankings, if you rank certain teams. Or I'm a boxing fan, let's say you rank certain fighters, pound for pound lists. Again, it's entirely down to personal opinion. People should maybe give some weight to their opinion and explain why they think this. But ultimately, again, you know, if you're going to rank fighter this fighter above another fighter, that's not going to impact the average fan in terms of their own personal lives. It, it entirely comes down to personal opinion. So um, you might disagree with me on that. That's fine. But I think that that is it. I think that this is why I don't listen to critics. Because I could read a review and it entirely slams the film as, oh, it's disappointing, it's etc, 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 it's nuanced ideas, it's all original, blah, blah, blah. Then I go to see the film, I thought, what are the critics talking about? That was really something. And it can work the other way. Critics can really praise the film and I watch it and think, what's the big fuss about? It wasn't that good. But that's my personal opinion, right? So that's what I'm driving at. Um, let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching.